I just looked on the shadow and saw this. Ah! They're from our friend Nick. Thanks, Nick. They're very cute. <laughs> We just got back from Zach's parents' house. It was really, really nice. And now it is 10.30, so it's getting kind of late. And I'm probably going to be naughty and play Sims 4 for a little bit because I'm so addicted right now. Why do I do this? Why did I install this during NaNoWriMo? I don't know. But after that, I'm hoping to work a little bit before bed. So um, if I do end up doing that, you will see the word count and it should be updated and then tomorrow is going to be a day i will be editing my vlogs um and trying to catch up a little bit i've sort of accepted at this point that i'm not going to win and that's not my way of giving up it's my way of actually keeping the momentum going because if i think about obsessing of hitting my 50,000 goal um then it's not going to be fun and I know I'm not going to get there and I'm just probably going to want to give up in general. But if I just move forward knowing, hey, I should be working on this every day for an hour or two at least, then I'm going to still be motivated and it's going to make it fun. So, And that's the whole point of NaNoWriMo is to make it fun. Well, that's the whole point, to make it fun and to be working towards your story with real progress. So. That's what I'm doing, so I'm doing good. <sighs> yeah. Like I said, that's not my way of trying to make an excuse for it. It's just at this point, it's my way of making sure I stay motivated. So I hope that relates to some of you out there. If someone is a little too far behind, like I am. It's hard because I feel, I've mentioned this before, but you can't really rush it with editing. Um, and so it feels... It just doesn't feel right to do that. Uh, it feels right to just stay consistent. But I might even just um, work a little bit more on my new story or at least add some words to it. I don't know. We'll see. I did the first little bit and uh, I really, really liked how it ended. So I don't know where the story would be going next. I haven't planned it that specifically. so. I guess that is the view of it. And I'm doing it in pencil, which feels really cool because I love writing in pencil. It's random, not important. But there you have it. Little braid. All right, so that is it for tonight. Um, I can't believe, I keep thinking it's like the end of November, like that it's already here. I mean, I know it's only next week, like Friday's the first of December, but I feel like Thanksgiving is always like right at the end and this year it wasn't. Like we had a whole other week left to go. So 
I mean, I guess it's like that every year. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I just, I felt like the end should be like tomorrow versus Thursday. Because I just, this month it went by quick and dragged at the same time. Do you know what I mean? I'm ready for December. This is going to sound horrible. But I've been feeling so rushed these last few weeks and months even really that I'm so excited for Christmas to be over because then I'm not going to be expected anywhere for a while. I just, I get overwhelmed a little bit when there's a lot, not, not even a lot on my plate. Like I don't mind being busy and having a lot to do. I don't like having to go to places a lot. Like I don't like traveling every weekend. I don't like um, knowing I'm not going to have a weekend off or that I'm not going to have time after work off. Like I just, I'm a homebody at heart. I love being home. I need to be home at least one day a week where I'm not doing anything. Like I just need that. Like I've learned that about myself. And if it's just go 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 and I don't get a chance to unwind I start like it doesn't happen right away like I can go one weekend or two weekends without it but I'm at the point where it's been a few months like I've had a few weekends here and there but it's been a few months of just really not a lot of that not a lot of that downtime and I just it happened it started yesterday really where I just feel drained and like I can't contribute much and I just feel icky and almost like depressed is a strong word but I don't feel like myself and I feel I just feel like it just needs to all stop like I just uh, I'm feeling um oh my god I'm getting emotional weird um it's not even stress because it's not like I'm stressed it's like I can feel myself pulling back from the moment because like I just my mind just can't handle I don't know I, I can't describe it maybe a little bit is like seasonal blues even though I love the winter like I know the days are shorter maybe that's adding a lot to it too because like I feel like the days are just going by so fast and I'm not having that time to just unwind I guess I don't know it's so hard it's so hard to explain because I, I love what I'm doing on the weekends. Like I love seeing my family. I love seeing Zach's family. Like it, it's nothing to do with that. I just, I wish there was like one day a week where like it was my secret day and like I could do whatever I want. And it didn't take away from anyone else's day. Like if I had the superpower to freeze time, I would freeze it for a whole day just so I could do nothing because <laughs> then I would recoup. It's a huge first world problem. I am well aware of this. I keep telling people, I don't know if I already made the joke earlier in the vlog, but I keep telling people in the spring, I am just going to become a hermit and not leave. Like I'm going to go to work and I'm going to come home and not do anything for months and it's going to be great. I think spring is going to become my favorite season soon because nothing, you're not expected to do anything. <laughs> it's not even like doing something like I'm lazy. It's like, I don't even know. I just really like being home. I like it here a whole lot and just relaxing. I guess what it really is, is at, I'm outgoing and I mean, I'm not super outgoing, but I'm not shy. And like when I'm with people, I talk to people, I socialize, but I am definitely an introvert in my core. Like I need time to recharge. So to speak, like you hear it, people talking about that. Um, I need that time because like being in public and with people it's draining to me and you know I'm having fun and I'm enjoying it but I can feel my energy source of socializing just drain and so if I don't have recharge time I am drained and I can feel myself pulling away and being quieter and not contributing more and just being feeling icky and wrong and first world problems I know I know I know but they're my world and that's what I gotta deal with so there you go okay so tonight we are home we are relaxing and um 
tomorrow I think we're gonna finally decorate the tree and yeah and hopefully recharge a little bit it will feel good uh, I feel bad you know we went to see Zach's parents today I had no idea that they thought we were gonna stay the night Zach didn't tell me Zach didn't tell them that we weren't and I feel bad because we didn't pack anything like I hadn't planned it at all but um we still had really a lot of fun we went and saw the Justice League movie and that was really nice and we had lunch and stuff I'm rambling I'm gonna go now um yeah does anyone else do you know what I mean like just have those times when you just don't feel like yourself like you feel that's how I feel and I, I don't know I need a day of just napping I'm not even tired but I feel like I should nap <laughs> I, I can't describe it. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna go. Zach's coming out of the bathroom now. I will see you guys tomorrow and I will update you more on my day then. Okay.